All right, you guys, here we go again. Breaking news. Now, Rockstar's been getting a great deal of bad press recently, and deservedly so. Even more so now. So do you guys remember a few months ago when players' social club accounts and player crews were being hacked and stolen and sold off in some cases by modders and hackers? Well, it's happening again. This time, however, it happened to Rockstar Games themselves. That's right, so Rockstar's own social club account and crew, Rockstar's own crew, was hacked and stolen within the past 24 to 48 hours. And as a result of that, Rockstar issued a new background update, or title update, I should say, for version 1.66 of Grand Theft Auto. Now, this is for all platforms, and we're going to get into that here right now. So, what's up, guys? Oddman105, aka the Odd One here, with another Talking Head video slash security update for all players of GTA Online. Now, let's get right into this. Okay, now this information comes directly from Rockstar's support page. So as of February 28th, 2023, and the first fix is on all platforms. Fixed an issue that prevented players from being able to modify the TM-02 Kajali tank, the RCV, and Chernobog in their facilities. So that's been fixed. I didn't know that was a thing, but that's good that that's fixed now. Okay, now for console users, and this is both old gen and next gen users, implemented a new data protocol in GTA Online that improved the security of network sessions and player to player messaging. Now, this is the exact same security patch that Rockstar issued on PC a month ago. Now, they've extended this particular security patch to console users, so now this security patch exists across all platforms. Also on console, general stability improvements. So that's good, whatever that is. Okay, for next-gen consoles, game stability and performance fixed an issue that resulted in car windows missing reflections in some graphics modes. Okay, that's for next-gen. Next, fixed multiple crashes that occurred in GTA Online. Now, this problem right here wasn't limited only to consoles. This happened on PC, and I can remember distinctly this week, I had issues getting into even story mode. The game would crash as soon as I would log into a story mode session. And don't even talk about GTA Online. My game would crash repeatedly, so this problem existed across all platforms. So hopefully they address this problem properly here. Now for PC users, gameplay stability and performance. Fixed an issue that resulted in players being incorrectly notified that they need to complete the prologue to access GTA Online. Now, if you're a PC player like I am, and you use security protocols to protect not only your social club account, uh, your Rockstar ID, your IP address, and your gameplay session from these trash modders and hackers, then you got this message. But I understand why Rockstar did this. They're routing the data directly through their servers now. Okay, fixed an issue that prevented some accounts from accessing GTA Online due to stats having been modified by a third party. Now, this has been an ongoing problem since Rockstar released that massive security update at the beginning of the month to address the remote code execution issue. And now, apparently, uh, this has been a thing where players have been experiencing an inability to access GTA Online recently. So hopefully, this fixes that problem. And fixed multiple issues that resulted in some users being able to abuse text chat systems on PC. Well, it only took Rockstar about a decade to fix this, but hopefully I won't see any more racist, anti-Semitic text pop up on the right-hand side of my screen. Now, to be fair, Rockstar never really fixed the remote crash and kick problem, and that's because the mod menu developers are still 10 steps ahead of Rockstar's multi-billion dollar development team. Let's be clear, Rockstar would have never issued this security update yesterday if their own social club account and their own crew account was never hacked and stolen from them. And guys, you know that it's bad when the mod menu developers can prove their point by stealing something from the game developers, Rockstar Games, the people that made GTA Online in the first place. And hopefully, this latest incident will put a blowtorch in Rockstar's butt so that they'll stay on top of this issue moving forward. And with that being said, guys, this video is a wrap. You guys sound off down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this. Let's have a respectful discussion about this. And again, this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, aka The Odd One. And if you guys found this information informative, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. 
please stay safe and remember, don't just start the fire, bring the smoke and take care out there. <laughs>